Good morning, everybody. How are you doing this morning? First of April, and um, I'm the fool for um, not realizing how complicated these things are as far as the webinar is concerned last night. So thank you so much to all those people that registered and for those people that came to the webinar. It was absolutely amazing to have that number of people and I'm so, so sorry to those who who um, had registered but then got there at sort of five to eight to eight o'clock and couldn't get in. Um, it is a big learning curve for me. This is new software. I've never used it before. I've never used this webinar platform. So that was my first ever webinar last night. And um, so um, there is a cap in terms of the number of people that can get into the room and I have been trying all week to, um, to get in touch with the, uh, the, 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 the software people, the support to sort of try and up, uh, to up that level and, and pay for an extra package but of course they're snowed under with inquiries and so uh, it just hasn't happened. So I am blown away by the number of people that are interested and have expressed an interest in, in what I've got to say. It's, it's, it's hugely flattering but you know, what I want to do is try and make that as available to everybody as possible. Uh, so, um, yeah, and the technical difference at the beginning, you know, it's just one of those things. I tested it several times, but there were some settings in my browser that I didn't, I didn't work out. So please, again, accept my apologies. You will get sent the link to the replay that will come out to you automatically from uh, Webinar Jam. That should come out within 24 hours of the, um, of the webinar going out. We're also going to try and download it and edit it and then put that up on, on YouTube so that again people can see that and um, so even if you haven't got the link we didn't register and hopefully you'll be able to share it with others as well and uh, be able to get that information out to other people. So um, we should have all our technical difficulties ironed out by next week so please please register and join me for next week and next week is going to be a, a paid one. I'm going to take, ask for a five pounds uh, payment for that um, to sort of cover a little bit of the, of the cost of running these things software is quite expensive so um, please join us for that and we're going to be talking about superficial fascia so what's between the skin and the superficial fascia um, it's one of my favorite and most interesting areas of the body it's very poorly described very few people talk about it we all understand or think we understand the idea of fat uh, but we don't really talk about it from an interface as far as movement therapy or manual therapy is concerned. Um, this is the area where uh, adhesions will take place a lot, scarring takes place, and where there is a lot of restriction of movement. We think about joints and muscles, but actually the restriction of movement is a lot in this, in this layer. And um, so we'll be looking at that. We'll be looking at some of the, the components that make it up. And as I said, I think it's the most important area in the body. Um, a few years ago, I was teaching with Robert Schleip, and, I, and, I, and we were on a section. He, he said afterwards, I think the superficial fascia is the most important structure in the body. I hadn't realized how, how important it was. And so um, it's one of those things that does get dismissed. It gets cut away um, and, and thrown in the, in, in the bucket when you're, do, when you're looking at ordinary dissections to get to the deep fascia in the muscle. Um, and in anatomy books, it's tending to be not even noticed, again, because the people that would have lots of it are rejected and they don't get dissected. So if you're a, 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 an anatomist or somebody that's studying medicine, you won't see this big layer in situ. So we're going to be looking at that, looking at some videos of dissections I've done, looking at palpation through it. We're going to be talking about knots in muscles and uh, what the relevance of that is to this layer as well. We're talking about dry needling. I've got some videos of dry needling into this layer as well, so we'll be able to see that. And um, so, and, and a, a portion of a, an interview I did in uh, the US with uh, uh, dry needler Jan Dummerholt, who's been involved in the editing of the, um, uh, the Travell and Simmons book, the um, um, Trigger Point book. So please join me next week, Tuesday at eight o'clock, and I'll be spending this week um, read, <laughs> reading up and, and technically advancing myself. And I look forward to seeing you all um, next Tuesday at the same time. So please get on, do register. We will hopefully have um, enough space for everybody, but please get in, uh, get in soon, uh, sooner rather than later, uh, just in case. Bye for now.